Hey everybody and welcome to another pre-book reviews video. Today I'll be going over what I plan on reading in May. If you watched my April wrap up I told you that I was in the worst reading slump of my life so I'm kind of just hoping that I get to these books but I can't make any promises that I will. So I have a large selection of books. Half of them I probably won't read. I just wanted my TBR to be fairly large because of my reading slump, just in case I didn't feel like reading one thing, I could be like, okay, I'll read this other thing and feel like I'm not breaking my promise of my TBR. Because I really actually hate doing TBRs, but I feel like it's necessary for the reading slump to get me out of it, to have sort of a plan. At least that's what my hope is. I'm just gonna go over super quickly the two manga that I have planned to read. I am planning on making May a novel focused month and really little to no manga to be read. So the first manga that I'm planning on definitely reading is something I'm obsessing over right now so it's going to be read regardless of whether or not I'm trying to stay away from manga because I just can't stay away from this manga and that is Vinland Saga Volume 4 by Makoto Yukimura. I'm about halfway through with the manga here and I do plan on continuing finishing up the last two volumes I have back there this month. The other manga that if I have the chance and feel like doing it that I'm gonna get around to is going to be Volume 2 of Let Die by Suyun Wan. If you watched my wrap up, I read Volume 1 last month and was like meh feeling about it so I'm giving it another chance. I usually give manga about three volumes of my time and then make a decision. I just absolutely love the covers on these. So let me grab volume three because I really like it too. Volume three is probably my favorite so far. I have the first six volumes of this. So I'm going to try to give this manhwa at least through volume three. Now on to the novels! Yay! So there's a few novels that I've already mentioned that I'm reading right now. The very first one is The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. Once I'm completely finished reading this here, which you guys know I'm like literally at the very end, I'm going to finish reading that today. I will immediately jump to this and I'm almost halfway. Actually, I am halfway because I am listening to this on audio and I know that my bookmark should be further than it is. So yes, I'm going to finish this first and when I finish this, I might pick up volume two if there's like a cliffhanger ending that I must get to volume two for, but uh, I do own volume two. I don't own any other volumes though, so I'm kind of hesitant to pick up volume two immediately after this. If I don't feel compelled to pick up volume two of this, I am also in the middle of reading Dreadnought by April Daniels, and this is a superhero novel about a transgender named Danny. Superheroes aren't my favorite thing to read, so I think this might be kind of hurting my reading slump, because every time I pick this up, I'm like, I don't want to read about superheroes. So. I might put this one down and save it for when I do feel like reading about superheroes. If I get around to, this might be towards the end of the month. And then you all know that I am rereading A Court of Mist and Fury in preparation for the third volume, which comes out literally tomorrow. But I don't have the money for it right now, so I can't get it tomorrow. But I'm still rereading this anyways. I can't help it. I can't help it. It's just like a guilty pleasure read to me. She's not the greatest writer in the world, but I can't help but like reading her books. They're really easy and quick to read, and that's another thing. I need something quick and easy that I can just like throw myself into and not have to think too hard about it. Um, because of my reading slump, I really need something like that. And so I am looking forward to reading the third book. But we will see you all out. Um, and then I'm finally, finally getting around to reading the Crown Tower, Volume 1 of the Ryuria Chronicles by Michael J. Sullivan. This is the prequel to the Ryuria Revelation series that I read last year. Absolutely enjoyed it. It was such a fantastic series. Uh, it is on my top five fantasy list if you watched that video. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it down below. This series is one of my very, 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 very favorite fantasies and I haven't read the prequel series at all and I feel ashamed because there was a video that I did when I finished the last book 
sometime last year where I was like, and I'm immediately going to read the prequel series, and then I didn't. This is going to go more into Royce and Hadrian's backstory. Not that it hinders the story at all, but in the other series, they do like mention something that happened where they're like, haha, remember that time when we blah 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 blah, and you have no idea what they're talking about. It doesn't really hurt the current story of that particular arc, but after you read sentences like that, you're like, hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. So this will go more into what they're talking about and like how they met and how they became friends. And I'm so excited because I love this series so much. So yes, I will be reading this for sure. So I read the first volume in this trilogy a while ago, like when it came out. I thought it was okay and I started reading book two and kind of dropped it and haven't touched it in a very, very long time. And I am actually going through my collection and getting rid of a lot of books. And in the process of getting rid of them, I'm thinking to myself, should I read some of these before I decide to get rid of them? Because some of them I'm just like getting rid of without having ever read them. But I absolutely loved this author's other series that's in the same world, so I felt like I needed to give it another chance. Without further ado, that series is the Shadow and Bone series by Leigh Bardugo. I read the duology series of hers, absolutely loved it fantastic. It was so, so good. Definitely worth the hype. Again, I read Shadow and Bone so many years ago when it first came out and then collected the books as they were coming out, but I think I started to read this one and then never finished the trilogy. I don't know if I want to keep it or not, but I feel like I need to give it another chance and try to read it again. So I do want to read it this month because I am getting rid of a lot of books. Like, right now. I'm probably going to be uh, recording an unhaul today at some point, so you'll see me in this outfit in like the next four videos because I'm planning on pre-recording a lot of videos because I'm going away on a business trip. This is the trilogy that's set in the same world as the Six of Crows duology. The duology is set like many many years after this because this is the original story you can read them separately while i was reading that duology i had no like feeling where i was like oh I, I don't understand what they're talking about i could understand what they were talking about but there is a scene in there actually where, where you're like oh i should, probably should have read this first but it, it really doesn't hurt the story at all and it's still a good story and it's literally like one scene so if i manage to read all of those and still feel like I can read more is I would really like to start the Inda series by Sherwood Smith. I believe I have the first two volumes, but I just really want to delve into another fantasy world. It might be this, it might be The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the last thing that I kind of want to start in the month of May, if I get around to it, is I'd really like to read the Skullduggery Pleasant series by Derek Landy. This is a middle grade series and I have the first, I have the first five volumes to this. All I know is that it is about this skeleton guy. <laughs> That's really all I know. Um, it's a really popular middle grade series. I bought the first five volumes in like a box set many years ago, never got around to reading it, and it's another one of those series where I'm gonna see if it's worth keeping in my collection. Excited to get to it, and since it's a middle grade, it's gonna be so easy to read! And maybe it will get me out of my reading slump! Woo! So that is what I plan on reading in the month of May. What are you guys reading right now? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!